standing here in front of uh, Harabait. We have dozens of people that have already uh, begun to gather. Well, hopefully the crowds will continue to strengthen. <laughs> what can you do with all the camera? Okay, so what are we doing here today? What's the, what's the point of this? Well, we're here at Har Habayat, at least we're at the foot of Har Habayat, trying to ascend to the Temple Mount. Uh, today is in, the first annual International Temple Mount Awareness Day, and we're here to raise, a temp, uh, raise awareness about the Holy Temple, the sanctity, the importance of the Holy Temple, and to raise awareness of how discriminated Jews are by the State of Israel and, of course, the Muslim keepers of the Temple Mount because we're not allowed to ascend, we're not allowed to go up, they're not letting us go up today. We're being blackmailed by threats of violence by uh, Hamas and Fatah and all the other Muslim groups. That is the reason they have closed the Temple Mount today because we've said we wanted to go up and pray and they said no and we're not very happy about it. But we're here anyway. Hayom Rosh Chodesh Nisan. יום שנבנה בו המשכן, זה נקרא ראש השנה, ראש שנה לשקלים, ראש שנה למלכים, אנחנו באנו לפה כדי לחדש את בניין המקדש במהרה, ונזכה ששערי הר הבית ייפתחו במהרה לכל עם ישראל, נעלה בשיר והלל לחצות בית השם, ונקריב קורבן פסח בעיתו וזנו במהרה דמנו, אמן ואמן. היום חנך משה רבנו לפני שלושת אלפים שלוש מאות שנה את המשכן ונכנס בפעם הראשונה למשכן נכנס אהרון הכהן מבקני הכהונה והחושן ולקח את המנורה הזאת והדליק פעם ראשונה את שבעת הנרות במשכן. our commitment to the building of the temple and to the idea that we are like fish without water. Without the temple that we acknowledge that this is not the way it's supposed to be, there's something seriously wrong with this picture, there's something very, very wrong with our lives. And we want to show a statement, we want to make uh, a sign of life before God because we believe that things are not on autopilot, it's not just cruise control. We have to show that we are willing to take a step also. And this the famous analogy of this is for the entire people to walk through because first we have to take a stand and do as much as we possibly can and then God makes miracles. We believe in miracles but only when we give them a leg to stand on in this world. And so the whole point really of, of this day, of the first of the month of Nisan, our sages say that just as we were redeemed in Nisan, so too in the future the redemption is in the month of Nisan. But what does that mean? It's not a miracle, it's not mystical. It's if we want it to happen, if we do something to make it happen. And so that's really the whole idea. And the temple is not a Jewish thing. You know, it's people say, tell us about the Jewish temple. It's not a Jewish thing. It's for the whole world. Isaiah tells us that this shall be a house of prayer for all people. And the light of the Shekhinah, the divine presence, goes out from there to the whole world. And that's the vision of every prophet of Israel. And that, you know, the fact that in the stranglehold of the Muslim caretakers of the Temple Mount, there is no religious freedom whatsoever. There's no tolerance for the idea of any non-Muslim prayer, which is really what this whole concept is all about, to, to change the status quo and to be able to take one step at a time towards the building of the Temple. And everything is in the hands of the Almighty, but again, we are partners in creation also, and God is waiting for us to take one step at a time. There may be baby steps, but this is the way things get done, and this is a tremendous moment in history because we are unabashedly taking a stand for the side of right, for the side of Jerusalem. All who pray towards Jerusalem are not only identifying with our spiritual source, but also drawing spiritual nourishment from the source of all life, which is right here. The place of the foundation stone is the place from place of, on the Temple Mount is the place from where Adam himself was created. So all of us have a stake in that legacy. 
And your presence here is, is very, very important because this is really the source of blessing for the whole world. And so I'm sure that God sees... Thank you.